Similar to our previous server models, the SX3000 physically stores its content on hard drives within the portable storage device. Using software, those drives are configured into a system of redundancy, which is referred to as a RAID array. The RAID array automatically duplicates your content, so if a drive ever fails, you still have a working storage system. Keeping track of your drive health is very important, and on the PSD, it's been made easier to identify. On top of the device are four indicator lights representing each drive slot. These lights will change from blue to red depending on the health of the individual drive. A buzzer has also been added to the device, which will sound off if a drive fails. As you can see from this chart, a steady blue light means that the drive is powered on and is functioning normally. A steady red light indicates that the drive has errors and should be replaced immediately. A blinking or flashing blue light means that the drive is currently being used, whereas a flashing red light means that the drive is currently being rebuilt back into the array. This would typically happen after a drive has been replaced. If no light is displayed, it means that either the drive is physically missing from the slot or is not being detected by the PSD. Additionally, it's important to note that when a RAID drive shows an error, it should be removed immediately from the PSD. The replacement drive must be a new drive and should not be pulled from another unit. Also, when a new drive has been inserted into the PSD, it will automatically be re-added and rebuilt back into the RAID array. When the SX3000 is not in playback, the rebuilding process should complete within an hour and a half. However, when the SX3000 is in playback, the RAID array will take its standard four to five hours to rebuild. But it should also be noted that the rebuild can be increased to its maximum speed if the SX3000 stops playback at any point during the process. To do so, log into the admin panel. And under storage system management, just click the increase rebuild speed button. If playback resumes before the process has completed, the RAID array will decrease its rebuild speed accordingly.